Hey, and we are back. Okay, guys. So, part two. Um, let me explain something here so not everybody will get upset. Okay. Unfortunately, right now, um, I use satellite internet. I don't want to hear any mess about it. Yes, that's what I have to use. Okay, so sometimes the signal can get really bad. And currently, right now, it's cloudy and it's raining where I live. So, that might cause complications. I know later in the night, usually, it's not as bad. But that's why tonight is going to be a test run. That's why we're trying to do a test stream to see how well this works. So, um, I'll just have to double back on some stuff. What up, JoJo? Yes, sir. Satellite shame. Whatever. You know, it is a shame. And I hate it. And it sucks. Yes. It does. It sucks. But, you know, we are back. So, I'm going to wait for a second. Let everybody get back. Or at least try to. Um, since we are back up. If any of you that were watching uh, see this, please let them know that the stream is back up. And uh, we are back going again. So, that way everybody can come back and see what's going on. But, we're going to continue where we left off. And I backed up some. So, that way... Um, we can keep an eye on this. So what I'm going to do is save myself a little bit and cause I want to be looking at two screens. So that way you guys aren't just watching me turn my head and everything every so often, or maybe I'll just leave it up. I don't even care at this point. We're just testing it out, having fun. So the main thing is, is how would you use this as a neck? Okay. So you have the head, you have the normal head shape. And what you will do is go from center to center. And then we have the three primary lines. Which are those. And I use a fourth. I use a fourth when I used to use this. I can eyeball it now and not even have to worry about it. But that's because I've been doing it for a little bit. So that's different. So... What do we have here? We have the hairline. If you really want to use that, that third line, I would say shrink that down to about, stop it about right there. Okay. Yes, I broke it. That's, that's what I do. I break things. Yes. That's also another thing too. One of these days I'll probably start doing something with video games. It's wild. I, I call it a curse, but some people like it. I can break video games without even trying. I glitch things. I don't know. I think it's because I'm, I'm not fully human. But anyways, that's a whole different ball game, a whole different story. Um, but yeah, real simple. That's what I use for the hairline. And why do I use that? Because of the simple thing that I can just drag that over. As you can see here, I can just drag it over. And then I can just make it touch right there. And this is very basic. This isn't like anything extravagant. This is just over and over so you have like a little box here box here oh thank you angela yes hit that like button subscribe if you haven't if you like what's going on um so now you have the head and usually from here you can make an eyebrow you can make it however you want you can just do a normal line here for a normal eyebrow if you want or you can be more elaborate with it if you want to and you can add all kinds of stuff where it has more of a you know definition here and you know wrinkle up here and you know kind of a brow you can do whatever you want to at that point but that's the basis of where you want it to be now how do you do the nose the easiest way that i learned and i basically taught myself this part is that you circle and then you circle. So you make two circles. And then you bring those circles together. And then once you bring those circles together. You just make a semicircle here. And a semicircle here. Okay. That's pretty much it. Once you, once you get those semicircles together. And everything. Then you got that. That's basically the bridge of your nose. The tip of your nose. However you want to do it. Now you can do it that way. Or you can do it the anime way, which this is how I normally do it. Bridge of the nose to a point, and then you round it around. Or you can do it a different way. You can just point, point, and then you can 
bring it that way. Any way that you want to play with the nose, you can look at a nose, you can test it out, however, but this is the bridge. That line there and this circumference here is the rounding of the nose. So you can just use that to just circle around. And that's a basic nose, you know? Um, well, that's cool, JoJo. Yeah, definitely try to follow along. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I have seen it, but this is this is how I learned, though. Um, oh, okay. Well, you know, that sucks that you think, uh, you think that anime sucks, but you know, whatever. Anime is okay. You may have not found the right one. I will tell you this. And as I'm drawing the eyes, I'll, I will explain this. Some of the newer anime is not really what you want to watch. If you're not a big fan. Um, this guy has no maidens probably, uh, I would say watch older anime. Older anime was hand drawn. It wasn't all done by CGI and digitally, digitally put out there. Um, it was more of a, a actual art style than it was pushing it out as fast as you can. Now I'm not saying that anime today is not good, but there is a finesse to it. And if you think that I'm that I'm talking a bunch of BS to you, go check out Robot Carnival. Go go check that out. I know, right? Anime sucks with the anime profile. I mean, you know, whatever. You know, you can't can't dig at it. But making the eyes are in this area. Where the bridge of the nose is at is where you would make your eyes. Now, you can do however you want to with eyes. You can do the straight across, straight across, and then you got your basic eye shape here. You know, that's the top of the eye. If you want to do something more, you know, exotic, like when you're actually doing a comic book or something in that order, or if you're doing some type of animation style, you would want to like make your eye here, you know, and give it kind of a lift. So it gives it more of a natural curvature like they like they like to use. Usually they there's a different type of pen. The pen that I'm using here, of course, I can't read read uh characters like I used to um but you can actually use pens like that and what it will do is it starts off with like a more slanted tip to a slanted tip now that gives it more of a more of a curvature smoother line structure um and then from here you can do the iris which there's many different ways of doing that as you guys have seen me doing most work I do just a simple eye here um in anime Spawn, uh, Todd McFarlane is one of my best, one of the guys that I followed from a child um, that gave me the biggest inspiration of being an actual uh, illustrator. And I love Spawn. So I love the muscle texture and that, that, that depth and that detail. But I like the ease and, and the very simplicity of anime because it's scroll art. If any of you have never paid attention to scroll art, go check that out. Scroll art is how they started off doing drawings in Japan and it's like watercolor. It's very interesting. Pay attention. If you ever get a chance to just look at it, you can find a small YouTube video for it. Um, if I find some links, I'll put them later. So I just did a small little undercut here for the eye. You can do that. Um, sometimes you can also do the whole rounded around if you want. Um, I like that sometimes. If you, or you can do a more in-depth eye where you actually will draw the eye up and then more like that so it looks like an actual eyeball. Now, getting to the point of drawing an eye, what you want to do here is once you have the top part of the eye connected to the nose, you don't want to go wild with the iris unless if you want to do something more in-depth like detailed with the face. I will do a lesson on detailing and all that stuff later. So this is just basics. Okay. So from here, you want to just make an underline and there you go. You got an eyeball. So congratulations. If you're following along, you have just drawn half of a face and you know, that's great. Some people say that, you know, oh man, I can't draw. Well, you can tell them I can draw a face now. So there you go. You learn something new. And with the anime side, we're going to go on the head and then we'll do the same thing over here. You just make a smaller line than you do the other, but it's basically the same deal.
not much of a difference, but you just make the line. And the main thing is you want to close the iris off. You know, you want to make sure that the iris is closed. Once that's done, then you can go down to the mouth. Now the mouth is going to be in this area. If you, if you want to go into more depth with it, you can break it down to if they have a mustache, they could have a line here for mustache. So you can, ha ha, you know, do that and then do the mouth or you don't have to. But after you get familiar, you'll be able to figure out how to do the mouth, how to gauge all of that. So that's not something to really be too, too hard pressed about. Um, not at this point. So from here, you will just basically draw, draw the mouth. And there he is, just a normal smiling man. And we'll give him a little indention here. This will be the chin. So you could do an indention in the chin or whatever it is. This whole area here for the mouth, you can even make it larger. Like he has a smile. You know, you can change it up if you want him to have like a whole gaping like, ah, you know, like that. You can do that. So we did all of this. This is the mouth and all of these things. So if you're following along, we're about to do the part that if you are drawing on paper, this becomes kind of tedious. So you want to make this as light as you possibly can if you're going to do the face section. You want that to be very light because you're going to have to erase it. So once you get that, you just go through and erase it. I'm going to get a larger eraser here so I can cover up more space. You erase that, that, there, the side, under the nose. If you want to, you can keep that there and add more lines and you already have yourself teeth and a tongue. I'll show you that in a second. There you go. You got that out of the way. And you also got this out of the way. Now, once those are gone, there you go. Now you have a actual face. That's been bugging me since I drew that. So there, now you got a face. Okay. Now, how do I draw ears, Mel? You know, you got to have ears. So how do you draw ears? Well, we'll go back. I'll back this up some. So if you want to draw ears, the ears, it's very simple with using this grid. Some people disagree with this, but I agree with, with this philosophy here. Eye to top of ear. That's the top of the ear. Now the ear, when you draw an ear, an ear is usually top to bottom in most cases. But if you're going from top to bottom, that works. Or you can do top crease, bottom, that's another type of ear. If you're doing an elf, it would go top, bottom. Or if you want to do a different type of elf ear, it would just basically top would come across and then come down to bottom. So I'll show you on, on the head here. As you see from the top, we go across, we go over, Round, there's the bottom. Over here, we would go top, do the semi S, come up, and there's the bottom. There's another ear. If you want to do that on this side for the elf type ear, which is easy to do here, yet again, that's bothering me. Um, what you would do here is you would go top and down to bottom and there you go now you got now you have an ear this one here if you want to do the anime well you don't have to call it technically anime but the type of elf ear that i like is more the laid down look um i like it where it goes across top and then as you see here rounds around the bottom now, you can do this however you want to. Some people absolutely hate this. They think that that's tacky and doesn't have a lot of form. But if you really want to get that laid down look, you just basically curve it over and then bring it all the way back to the cheek. Okay? You don't want to go any lower than where the nose is at. So if you have the nose line, you don't want to go lower than the tip of the nose. Top of the eye is the top of the ear. 
the nose line is the bottom of the ear. Top of the eye, bottom of the ear, or nose, whatever. Face, line. So you've got that. So once you have that, it's pretty much in a grid. So if you gridded this whole thing off, whoops, then you would see that it matches up perfectly here and then your hairline here. So there you go. Now you have a head. Now you actually have a head. And the head has been drawn and it looks good. And um, we are now going to go to the next part. Uh, we are going to erase this here. There we go. Now that's out of the way. There we go. And we are going to have our face. Okay. So once we got all that out of the way, and now we have our face here, I'm going to take a moment after I show you this here. So see what I mean by that being teeth? All you got to do is bop, bop, and then bop if you want it to be top teeth and a tongue, or if you want to continue it just to make a whole smile. We can come and bring it down, and now we got ourselves a cheesy grin. Okay? So that's what we have for a head. And the next thing that we're going to do is I'm going to stop real quick, and then I'm going to go on ahead and take a look at the chat here. Um, if anybody has any questions or anything or have anything that you would like to say about the work or want me to answer a question, we're going to take a moment for you guys to ask those. Um, and, and yes, let's keep the questions to predominantly what we're working on in the art. Um, but we can talk to if you want. But, you know, if, if you have questions about what I'm drawing, just uh, go on ahead and ask. And uh, I'm going to just watch the chat and give you guys a moment. And um, I think I might turn on some music for a second and see what's going on here. Because I have my whole playlist that I use for all my videos on shuffle. So let's see here. What do we have? All right. Let's go ahead and take a look at this chat. All right. Okay. Ha! <laughs> no maidens. I like that. So, anybody have any questions? Have any uh, anything that they want to ask or anything before we get to the next section? Also, by the way, we're only going to go until about eight o'clock. Um, if you're, you know, below the the, I guess, uh, other time zone, it would be about nine your time but we're just doing a little bit here just to get a feel for what's going on and um hopefully weather and things will be better later and i won't run into any issues with the stream um anybody uh stream going okay everything doing okay everybody see everything all right cool there may be a delay too, so. Okay. All right, and let's see here. Take a look at my notes and what we're gonna work on the next part is the neck, okay. All right. Well, I guess nobody's got any questions at this time. So, okay. I guess we'll uh, go on ahead and move on. And uh, there we go. Go on ahead and stop that. 
and we will go on ahead and start doing the uh, neck so um, if you have any questions or have anything you want to say about before we get started with the next part um, still got time and looks like nobody has any questions okay class <laughs> all right mm. I like this glove. I thought that this glove was going to be the stupidest thing ever. I thought it was dumb. Okay. I'm going to admit that when I first got this and I was using this, I was like, this is the dumbest shit I've ever seen in my life. What am I going to do? Granted, it's, it's like, like a microfiber. And I'm like, what is this going to do? So I decided, oh man, I'm going to go on ahead and use this with my bare hand one day. And it was a terrible situation with that i had a terrible time with that um i can definitely say that using this on the pad it is so smooth if it's like butter it's just it's just so soft and it's a satisf satisfying sound i should do like a one of those uh msar videos or whatnot of me just rubbing my hand against my tablet just just if you could just hear it just and just real real smooth and soothing is great but, uh, okay, so now, since we have the neck, okay, oh man, I got the neck. Now, the next part we're going to go on ahead and get out of the way is, well, I don't know how to draw, Mel. We're going to do this again. Every time, every time I come back to the stick figure, we're going we're gonna, to, I want to do that. I want to pick on the class a little bit because I want to show you that you're limiting yourself by not trying. Okay, don't be afraid of a new skill. It's just something different. So, we got, we did the head. I did a head, you know. Now I got a neck. It was just a stick figure neck. Oh, here's my stick figure arm. Here's my other stick figure arm. I can't really do much. And there's the body to the stick man. Okay, now I'm going to show you how we're going to turn this into an actual person. Yes, sir, let's dance. All right, so. How we're going to turn this into a regular person is this right here. Now, these other faces, they were just used here for example. But we're going to work on this man right here. So how how do I make a neck out of this, Mel? How do I learn how to do this? Make a neck out of this. Okay? The thing is with the neck is that you're going to work in this, this area here. Now, if you want to do this, this is something that I created myself. They don't show you this in school, but... I did this myself to help myself when I was actually learning to make my own style. So what you're going to look for is you're going to have to do neck to shoulder. Okay. So how do you do a neck to shoulder with using a stick figure? Okay. The first thing is that you want to make sure that the head and the, and the shoulder, the neck has to be in this area. Can I, you can sit, you don't want it to be exactly this way. I mean, you could, when I first started off drawing, that's how I started off. I was like, okay, neck to shoulder, neck to shoulder. So it was actually just, just this. When I first started, I was in high school drawing stuff like this, like just some straight neck man, you know, and that was it. He, he didn't have no definition to his neck. He was just nothing but just, you know, thick neck Jones. Okay. So got past that. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that they're both in here, okay? And the, the other thing is, is where do you want or how is your shoulder supposed to be? Now, you can, if you want to make somebody bulkier, you want to make this smaller, okay? So we're going to show you the difference between using this to start and this is more of where it's going to go as, as you progress, so keep this in mind, the left from this point on in what we're showing here, we're just going to work on this man today. I'm just going to show you basics and then what I'm capable of doing without the basics. And then that's, that's how we're going to draw this man. Okay. So I'm going to go on ahead now on this side and erase it. And I'm going to explain this to you as we're drawing. Okay. What, what this is all about, why, why this is important. Okay. So. As you're drawing these things, these are the points that when you get fully into a point of if you're comfortable with drawing, and especially if this is your first time, if this is something that you guys have done before, because I know some of you are artists, 
Um, so, uh, all right, cool, Sloth. Um, some of you are artists. Some of you have done things. You've done either 3D modeling or something in this order. This is also used for 3D modeling, too. And I will show you guys in a lesson how you can use normal artwork to mold 3D models. And when we get into texture and detailing and all that kind of stuff, if any of you are using, like, uh, Blender or using any type of software like that, if you have a pen and a tablet and this kind of shit, it's going to work really well because I want to show you how to actually sculpt. It's going to be the same technique as drawing definition in a face. The only thing that is different is that it's a 2D shape and you're using 3D, so you don't have to shade. It's interesting. You'll see. There's a lot of cool stuff. So um, there's just the beginning. Uh, so what we're going to do here is inside of this neck, we're going to make a line. And we're going to just make a simple line here, there. You want to curve it just a little bit, okay? Because when you get over here on this side, how it's going to connect is it's going to look like this. Okay, that's how that's going to look. All right, so when you get here, when you make that small little line, how this is going to work from this point is that you want to take this piece here and you want to just bring it up to the chin. Okay, so that way you have a fluent line. I would say trace over this very lightly in this point because it'll make it thick, but if you make it thicker, you get a more, you get a feel for it. You know, just go over it a couple of times get a feel for how it curves, how you have that natural curve in the neck. And then once you're comfortable with that, you know, go on ahead and uh, take your eraser if you have one, or, you know, and then you want to just trim it up however you want. You want to just erase enough to get the shape that you really want. And there's nothing wrong with that because once you once you erase it to like, okay, that's a good spot, then you have your neck. That is your neck. Now, everything else from this point, this is where you're going to have the T. The T shape, the T pose. This is where the, all that mess came from. Okay? So if you see something T pose or T shape, this is this is the, the standard basis for that. So you from this point right here is the upper neck, like your collarbone, like in this area. That's what that is. So if you want to do a collarbone, you can do a collarbone like so. And same thing over here, you could do a collarbone if you want to. It's not necessary, but it just depends on what, what you're going for. But after you have the neck, you want to take your shoulder and you want to start here in this area. You want to make the shoulder and that's the top. Okay. Now, you have the basis of the shoulder. And over here, what that would look like is I would use a completely different pen. I would use one that has more definition because at this point I would make it like so and then follow it up with the rest of the shoulder to show muscle. That is, that's normally how I would draw it. But we will get into curvature and all of that stuff as we go along. We're going to go back to the pencil and once we have that here, from this point you want to just bring this over and now you have a shoulder. That's simple. So you use this as a basis to go over and down, okay? You can make it closer here if you want to go over and down. It changes the shape of if they have strong neck and shoulders to slimmer, smaller neck and shoulders. Difference to like a child in comparison to like a big grown adult or someone bulky compared to someone thinner usually lower shoulders you want to use that for like a more feminine body if you want to it could be for a younger man or woman anything like that when you want to use more definition you go higher up on there let's see <laughs> I like a do the cha cha <laughs> right that's funny thanks jojo so once we have that here, we're going to go on ahead and back this up so we can, well, we'll leave that there. Okay. So we have this here. Now from this point, you can go on ahead and get rid of your, your line here. So now that's the arm part of your stick man. That's gone. Okay. Now your stick man is gone. All right. 
Well, Mel, with the, well, you know, hey, there's still, you know, the lower part. Like, that's cool and all, but what about this? Like, uh, you know, got the line that goes all the way down, and then you got these two wonky little legs that he's got. You know, that, I mean, that's cool and all that you can do that top, but, you know, he's got the little wonky legs, and he's got the little silly wonky feet. Okay, that's fine if that's what you think. You know, you you think that you may be, you know, not doing much more here. And, you know, well, you know, you erase that, but, you know, there's still the rest of the arm. Okay, fine. We'll, we'll use that too. We'll use the rest of the arm. Okay. I like I like how how people think. Because I'm using these as as references, as real stuff. Because I've had these questions asked in the past. Like, oh, yeah, okay. You know, how do you do that? Or how is it done? And I was like, it's really not that hard. But once once you see it, now you're starting to understand. So now you got the rest of the arm. Okay, fine. All right, so how do we do the rest of the drawing? Well, that that is what I'm going to show you right here. Okay, so this section here, what you want to do with this is you have to find out where is your armpit, where is the rest of the chest. Now, depending on how this is done, I'm going to use this side for female, this side for male, if you want a male chest. Now, when it comes to making a character or doing something like that, I mean, you can figure out whatever you want. You can put boobs on a dude, whatever. You see all types of drawings. So you can do whatever you want to with this. This is how it's done and how, how the basis is done. Um, so with this area, you want to find the place where the armpit would be. Usually it's right here. So you can just make a line and make an X, okay? So if you have a stick man, how this would look, so we can use this as a general reference, since we've made some progress, it would look like this right here. You have the head, you have the lines here, you have the neck, and then you would do that, and right there would be the armpit, right there would be the armpit, and then you have the rest of the body, okay? So that's, that's a reference of how that will work for this, okay? So... And on a stick figure, if that's how, if that's, if this works better for you, draw your stick men like this from now on. Don't draw them like normal, like you, how you normally draw them. Forget that. Cut that shit out. That, that's, that's not necessary. If you want to learn how to draw a body quickly and easily, use, use the wire skeleton. Because bubbles can work, but that, that's a whole different situation. If you're doing 3D modeling, then you want to do the bubble because that allows you to sculpt. You'll learn how to sculpt in a better way that way because that forces you to do that. That's another lesson we'll go over as well. Um, but definitely draw that for now on if you want to do illustration, sketch work. You draw your skeletons like this. That's how you draw your stick, man. So once you find out where your armpit is, then that's where you start the curvature for your arm. So you start right here. You would just make a curve, a line there. So you make a line there. So that way, both of these lines can, can meet. Now, since this side is going to be more of a female side, then yes, you would just continue that around there. So now this is the bend of your arm, like the middle part of your arm, and you just make a small U. Now, see, you still got, you still got the frame. Yes, sir, super helpful. So... You have the frame. Now, I'm doing this just like anybody when I first started. I can still draw the same way when I first started. So, I would make a U, okay? And then once I make a U, you would just circle it around to the tip. Circle it around to the tip. And there's the tip end of your, of your skeleton here. I want to take these off because... Get on my nerves. Anyways, I love my goggles. Don't get me wrong. I love my goggles. I don't want to hear any shit about it. Okay? I love them. But 
they need that rubber around it because that shit digs into your skull. And if you don't wear goggles like that, you don't understand. But if you want to know, you can go on ahead and take two beer cans and slam your skull into a brick wall. And that'll give you somewhat of a simulation of it. I don't condone that you guys do that. Don't bash your head into the wall. Okay? Don't do that. But, you know, pressure. Okay? So, because some people want to go out there and do that. All right, so what we're going to do here, and we're going to speed this up because it's pretty much 8 o'clock. Do you guys want me to stop or do you want me to just keep going until I'm done with this? Are you? It, let me ask this question first. Are, are you guys learning from this? Like, are you able to follow along with this pretty well? Like, just just because of the fact that I want to, I want to make sure that it's not, I'm not making this complicated. I'm trying, I'm trying not to. So if you want me to continue, I can continue and finish this. I just... You know, give me a little feedback, and if you don't mind. So I know if we need to keep going or cut it out. Oh, we lost somebody. All right. Well, I want to keep going for the time being. So once you got the arm going here, you got the armpit. Now, if you want to continue this, you can just bring it all the way up. You can just there. Now you have a whole piece, okay? And from here, you will take from the pit... You, you can start the boob here. This is, this is where the breast would start, right here. Okay? So you would just make a line. And how this would work if you really want to. And you're going to think that this is weird. Go to the grocery store. This is how I learned how to draw breast. Okay? This, this is how I learned how to do it. I went to the grocery store. I looked at a pineapple. I took a pineapple. And I found one that was basically round enough at the bottom that it had a pretty decent curvature in the body okay and then you take the stem you turn it sideways and you literally hold it in the middle of it and you look at the curvature of the bottom of that that curvature is how you want to start from the top round into the bottom is exactly the size of a, of a perfect circular shape so you use that and that's that's how i learned how to use it yes i was looking at fruit and i figured out how to how to draw breasts so you just basically curve and that's it. And what, what you're looking at is that curvature would be the bottom. This is, this is where you're holding it. That's the bottom of the pineapple. And then it curves back up. And here, if you don't believe me, look. I'm going to show you right off of it. Pineapple. Why is it like this? Like that. Something like that, some shit like this. Yeah, that's a pineapple, right? Right? And then, yeah, you know, that kind of shit. So, yeah, boom. That, that's it. You'll see what I'm talking about when you go to the store. Take a look. Don't be, don't be scared about it. So, you know, and then from here, once, you, once you're comfortable with it, you can just do stuff like this. Just pectoral muscle, you know, there it is. And then from here, how you draw the body would be, you would just do a, a large circle because you're going to do the side to the hip, okay? So that would look like this, side to hip. There you go. Now on the male body, it would basically be the same way. Side to hip, and then there you go. Now you have the torso, okay? Now you have the torso. Now from here, of course, we would just finish this up like that. Like this. There we go. I didn't forget it this time. I got the nipple on there. Ha! <laughs>
All right. So there you go. So this is as far as we're going to go tonight for this because I know that it's uh, we had a little bit of a complication in the beginning. But what we would do here, I'm not going to put that there because, you know, they would get all twisted out of shape if I did that over here on, <laughs> on the tube. So we're not doing that. Um, but there you go. So you have the basis of how you would take a stick man and you get the basic picture. And then you would just erase the stick man's arm and that arm. And boom, there you go. You have the stick man. All right, cool. And then you can take that away for the body. There you go. You can do abs and all that kind of fun jazz over here. And, um, you know, all of that. If you wanted to do abs, you do that. Belly button. And then waist. However you wanted to do it on either or body type. Um, yeah, if you want to do more detail in the arm, you can do a crease in the arm. You're going to fix this arm up more. And then... Basically, from the lower body, lower body is a, is a optical illusion, okay? I'm going to show you guys this, whoever's still here. And if any of you guys are watching also um, when the stream is over, uh, if you have any questions, you know, definitely reach out. Uh, let's build a community. I, I want to try to build a community here. Um, you know, if anybody is, is able to, to help out with that, that would be greatly appreciated. Um we need a name for the people that follow. We need we need that. Let's let's build this up. So any of you guys that are watching or anybody that's watching, you know, definitely be involved. Once you once you guys involved, it's not just just me just drawing and stuff. I really want I want people to feel like they're part of something here because you know art is art is something that should be shared and learned. It's not something that should just be secluded to just you know, money, it's a, it's a skill that everybody can, can learn from. Um, painting is going to be a lot easier for some of you. Painting is going to be where it's really at. So the trick to, to the leg is once you erase all of that to where you just have the two stubs of the feet right here, we're going to back this out. Okay. So the two stubs of your feet, you can do this in many different ways. I want to speed this up real quick. So you got pants, basic shape for pants. Or for female, you got pants, if you want. Now you can switch it up however, however you want it. You can do it the same way for a man. You can do bigger leg pants, you can do suit pants. Anyways, those are pants, okay? You don't have to do much with this. And once you have that, then you have the V for the crotch area. Now, this is a part that's something I'm not going to do or say much here because I don't want to get flagged for anything. But um, depending how you want your clothing to fit, you may want to change the size of this area. Like you can... You can do whatever. I want to show you real quick. Like, if you wanted to do, like, pants and then, you know, pants, you could do that. Or if you don't want to do it that way and you want to just make normal pants, you know, you can just make normal pants. You know, many different many different ways that you can do it. You, you can make it look, especially when you're doing, like, kicks and movement, you want to, you can, you can just angle those in many different ways however you want to that's the reason why i use the body models and the body models help with that with positioning because i would spend so much time in this area between here and the body pose when i first started off i started doing just basic body poses like this this was my standard i didn't change it up maybe put the arm here Put the arm here, 
And then it would get to the point where I was, man, how do I get the legs? How do I get the legs? I'm, I'm just doing all that. And then I figured out about the models and then it already has the pose. So I just do the positioning. It's a lot easier for me to do that now digitally, but learn, but actually doing it over and over again is going to help you, especially if you're doing it on pen and paper or if you're painting it. So there's nothing wrong with repetition. Get, try to do it the best that you can. Change it up, change the leg positions. Um, I ain't gonna lie, if, if some of you got action figures or whatnot and you can bend them up or, or position them, do so, try it out. That's really awesome too. That works. Um, you know, anything that can like be moved, you can actually do that. And then, or you can get one of those wooden dummies, but those wooden dummies don't work that well. Um, if, uh, I could probably find the link to the, uh, more bendable models is basically like the 3d models that I use, but you can stationarily move them if you want to use them for like paintings and other things, but I'll try to figure that out later. So you got pants and then what do you do for the feet? Okay. So how do you make a foot from this? Okay. The foot is basically, you would bring a line over to here. That's just the basic foot. That's a foot in a shoe, okay? Um, if you wanted more of a, well, I wanted to be barefoot, Mel. What about bare feet? Well, how you would look at a bare foot is just get the idea of a bare foot. So, you know, bare feet are going to have more curves and and indentions. This took me a very long time to figure out how to do feet and fingers because I'd struggle very hard. So you would have the initial shape, okay? Like that's the shape. Like, okay, there's a toe. And then from the toe, because everything everything from here you can just bring in one fluent motion. But from there you would have to curve, you know, you have to look at a foot. How does a foot look from the side? So you know, look at your foot from the side and then you would just find how your foot curves. And then if you have an arch or not, how you have a heel, you know, that's, that's how you would look like the fingers and toes and stuff. Really look at your body. You have them on you and, and that's the best reference. I mean, just look at your own body. How do my fingers look? How do I draw, just draw a finger or, or whatnot? And there you go. Boom, boom, boom. You got toes. Okay. And they're hammer toes, and this asshole's got a little curvature here. He's got a little chubby foot. There he goes. And then, you know, his feet look janky as hell. Um, but that's that's fine, you know.